Hi, I'm Doug McKinley, and you're watching Adorama TV. Now, we've all seen those great pictures of athletes frozen in motion, the decisive moment. But how do the photographers get those pictures? I often get asked what my settings are when I'm looking to freeze action. But you know, there's no simple answer. Adorama TV presents Stay Focused with Doug McKinley. There's no magic answer when it comes to shutter speed for stop action photography. There's constantly changing variables. It could be the light, the angle of the light, subject speed, uh, the lens you're using. So it's up to the photographer to make a decision on the spot for each situation. Of course, shutter speeds are the key component for great stop action pictures. On bright sunny days, you're going to get really fast shutter speeds and lower ISOs. Cloudier days, maybe slower shutter speeds augmented with high ISOs. Now each photographer is going to have to make their own decision given the light situation they're in. But as a rule of thumb, 1 250th of a second is enough to stop action that's coming across the front of the lens. 1 60th, however, can stop action with your subject coming toward you. But either way, I always set my camera to shutter priority. That way I know I have complete control over the shutter speeds. Now focal length of the lens is important too. Currently I'm using this 70 to 200 millimeter 2.8. The reason being is that I can isolate my subject from the background. I'm not so concerned about the backgrounds here, I'm more concerned about the action in my subject. The longer lenses allow me to really, really get tight. Don't forget to check out Adorama's latest contest where you could win some amazing prizes. One key thing to keep in mind when taking fast action pictures is that your images have to show motion. For example, if you use a really fast shutter speed on a car on a road, it's going to look like the car is just parked. So you need to find something that's got obvious action, obvious motion, like an athlete or a swimmer or a skateboarder, and catch them at the peak of the action decisive moments. When you freeze something, it's like stopping time. You're able to see subjects in ways that you can't in real life. They can be quite beautiful or even scary. When shooting movie subjects, it's best to use autofocus, but set to servo mode. This allows the lens to continually refocus as the subject moves. The pressing the shutter button halfway down activates the autofocus, and only when the subject is composed to the photographer's liking should the button be pressed all the way down, thus taking the picture. An important thing to keep in mind with this technique is the subject must always be in the autofocus target zone, a series of focus boxes depicted in the viewfinder. Fortunately, most DSLRs allow for reconfiguration of these boxes across the viewfinder, allowing photographers to choose which part of the scene they want to concentrate focus on. Sometimes subjects are just moving too quickly. They're coming really fast at you or an acute angle and you just cannot lock focus. So the trick to dealing with this problem is you pre-focus. You pick a spot in the scene where you know your subject is going to cross, and just as they hit that spot, you take the picture. So to burst or not to burst, that's the question. Now you might think you've got a really fast motor drive and it's going to be easy. You're going to grab any old shot you can see, lots of action, stopping action. The problem with the burst rate is that sometimes the actual image you want falls between the frames and you miss it. So I think it's best to start shooting on one shot and pick your subjects properly. Watch for the action, the decisive moment as Karshi Persen used to say. So that's it for me. I'm Doug McKinley for Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos. And we want to hear what you think. You can like, share, comment on this video. And please stop by the Adorama Learning Center for more great tips and tricks.
Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.